Hello. Hello, this is a collect call from Mike. An inmate at the Santa Clara County the charges press zero to refuse. This call is subject to monitoring and recording. Thank you for using Evercom. I'm sorry, this place where I am now sucks. Did you tell the lawyer that? I don't tell them. Oh, they're on their way. No. They're, they're coming like, wait, I thought you were calling me because they left. No. Okay. You upset? Yeah. Well, talk to me about it. I just woke up. Pardon? I just woke up. Okay, well, tell me, what's the matter? I got moved because of why they're hustling me lots of money because I had to move out. So I had to put all my shit together. Okay. Remember something, okay? Yeah. This isn't gonna last long. We're gonna we're gonna do what we said we're gonna do. We're gonna get you into the counseling, and that changes everything. The whole setting. I found out everything about it. It's like your own little like you get like in a a room that's not a jail cell. So it's an apartment type thing, and you have to have your own stuff. We gotta give you your own stuff. You just gotta go to counseling every day. You have computers. You have access. I mean, obviously, it's not wide because you're in your counseling, so you can't yeah. like go on a porno site or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was never on a porno site. I know you were. What I'm saying, well, you didn't need to be a porno going on your own house. Mm -hmm. um, so, anyways, tomorrow, sure. hopefully, you're sent um, to St. Louis by Thursday because the they're subpoenaing me into court for Thursday, 9:30. Right. So I have to testify before the grand jury. And all that is is they, they'll show the grand jury they have wiretaps on you. And because I was at the apartment, they're going to try and say I was the victim, and I'm going to say the same thing I said that night. Right. And then it's going to be, I mean, they have enough to indict you, trust me, because they indicted the girl and fuck all. Right. <laughs> so, anyway, you'll be, you'll, then, then you're going to come back at some point, hopefully Thursday, and then wherever you are, I'll try and get in to see you. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then what will happen is at some point, what happened to her will happen to you. You will go for a bond hearing. And that's usually like a day later after they uh, formally charge you with the shit. Right. So what will happen is you can talk to these knuckleheads about this when they come in and just say to them, how is this going to work? Like, say, if I'm back on, say, say to them, say, if I'm back on Thursday, when will I have the hearing to allow me to get into counseling? Mm -hmm. Repeat to them counseling five, six times. It's good for a lot of reasons. First of all, you send your point home. Right. Second of all, you show the remorse that you need it. Third of all, you get the fuck out of these jail cells. Yeah. Okay? And I know this sucks, Mike, but and I'm not saying that you need this right now because I don't believe you do, but this process right now is, is what's fucking us up. Now you see why Edelson and I... We're pushing so hard to get you on that fucking plane and gone. Right. Because we knew this holdover was going to be bullshit. Why are they constantly holding me over? Because it's, it's, it, they're not being dicks. It's just the, the marshal's office usually doesn't like to send one person at a time. So they wait till they have a, a couple different things they have to do. Because yeah. you go on an airline, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, don't, don't, don't zero it in on yourself and think this is just about you. It's not about you. It's, it's about them, and, and they're fucking around. But the lawyers have talked and, and, and got a promise, and this is what this Bob guy's going to tell you today. He's going to tell you that they've been promised that it's not going to be much longer. So what we're guessing is Thursday. Okay? What day is it today? Tuesday? Yeah. Okay. All right, hang in for me, okay? I know it sucks. You know what I have to fucking eat today? I have two pieces of bread. Okay, listen, listen. That's the kind of shit I want you to tell this guy. And I want you to talk about that right off the hop. I told that fucking guy to bring you McDonald's. He said they might not let, you, they might not let him bring it into you. Mm -hmm. um, I said, bring him McDonald's for your meeting so he can fucking eat. I'm really mad about that. So you make sure if Frank's there, mm -hmm. talk to Frank about that. Say, say, Frank, is there anything you can do? to get me some food and like... And like you got it, if Frank's not here, you got to tell him to get my wallet and everything. No, no, we got it, we got it, don't worry about okay. that. That's all being said. I, I, I have a bit of an issue that I can't get right across the number. So I don't have your sheets because they're in the apartment. Mm -hmm. But what I'm going to do, I'm hoping he used his head. What I'm going to do is when I fly in, because I'm being subpoenaed, so the government flies me. Right. So it's kind of cool that I'm, they're flying me to help. You know, it's kind of cool. Anyways. 
So they're flying me. I think I'm leaving tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. I get in like late, and then um, how does it work? I get in late, and, and then and then uh, the next morning at 9:30, I go to this fucking uh, subpoena, right? Mm -hmm. And then I testify, and then I leave, and then my flight's later on, so I have time to go get your mail. I have time to take care of a few of the errands that you need. Mm -hmm. Because what, what I'm being told by my, my, my big lawyer is, Dave, this is going to happen quick. He's going to land. They're gonna, there's going to be a hearing, and there's going to be a bond hearing. You may need Sheldon for that. You sign the house. You get him put straight into counseling. And we get this ball rolling and get him the fuck out of the dungeon. And he said, just the guy keeps telling me, you tell him it's not like this. He said, this is what they do to scare the fuck out of you. They want you to think this is what it's like, but it's not. And the reason why they do that is before they negotiate, right, mm -hmm. they want you to be always worried about during a negotiation that that's how you're going to have to live. Now, I know you don't want to talk to inmates, now I'm blaming you, but you ask anybody that's been in jail, they'll tell you it's like a condo. Once you're, once you're placed where you're going to be, but you're not going to jail, you're going to counseling. Mm -hmm. Okay, this, this negotiation, Mike, is already starting to take place. We, I've told you what happens. We have to have psychiatric assessments. When, when am I seeing Shaw? Um, supposedly, he, he got fucking bitter that you didn't get transferred today. Yeah. And he's all fucking wired up, so he may come right out to you now if, if you're an extra day. Do you care where that session starts? I've got a what? I have an attorney here? Okay. Um, i got an attorney here. Okay, that, that's them. Okay, I want you to pay attention to me, okay? Yeah. Be calm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Collective, mm -hmm. but you talk about your fears. All right. Okay. Yeah. I want you to know how much I care about you, how much I love you, and no matter what happens, you're going to get through this. You're still going to be a young man when this is done. Right. You're going to have a lot ahead of you. Okay. I so don't want you to. This is all father. Talk. I'm sorry. Fears. That's right. Okay. okay. All right. And and fears of everything. You've had all kinds of issues. Okay. Just be calm. Don't talk quickly. Talk quietly, or talk calmly. You know, if, 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 you know, you might have a breakdown. Mm -hmm. If you do, that's fine. You know, I'm not telling you to do it. Okay, I gotta go. Okay. All right. Listen, yeah. I am behind you. I know. We all are. Okay. okay I love you, kid. Love you too. Bye. Bye.